Hey everybody, I'm out here right now messing around with my old 1973 Chieftain. It is a very rare RV. And I'm um, wanting to show you something here. We're going to be doing a little something. There is 571, 570 watts. And the trailer is plugged in. And it's pulling 4.84 amps at 571 watts. Now... It's up underneath my shop, all underneath, it stays underneath. Now look over here, powered it up and that little light fixture kicked right on. This RV is in amazing condition for its age. It was stored its whole life. And there's Anna Mae inside working out. She does a lot of her exercise in here. And, um, Want you guys to look, and there goes Emma. My girls come everywhere. So everything in this RV is original. Now this was a prototype RV, and it come with the samples of how everything was made. And I've shown videos of this a few years ago, and we had great intentions on putting it on the road with some different things to be done to it. But you can see here, it's just shiny, and Emma is just complaining. And even what was sitting up underneath back there, it, that works too. But the refrigerator is immaculate, um, like new inside, and cold. It's, that's the reason it's pulling 570 watts right now. It's because the refrigerator and every light is burning in here, except for this one, and it burns too. But... What we were going to be doing is changing it all out. We're going to LED this whole thing out. So you saw at the beginning, it's 570 watts. Now, one good thing about this RV is that everything, even the stainless steel, is like it's brand Well, it's like brand new because it is brand new, basically. It's been stored its whole life. Um, normal deterioration like the uh, silicone, whatever they use back then. This is not like silicone. It's something else is letting loose. But other than that... The whole thing is just beautiful, perfect. Um, the drawers have never had nothing in them other than some stuff that we had left in them. And the kids had left some Tupperware stuff in them. So I mean, it's not really in bad shape. But these bulbs, um, we're going to show you what these will do. Now, in comparison, most people you'll see they use this LED bulb. And it's equivalent of about 2.1 watts, which gives you about 19 to 20 watts of light. That's as good as it's going to get. So I'll put it over here right quick, and we'll show you. We'll take this 1156 bulb out, and we'll grab that one, which is also considered an 1156 because of the end of it there. And get it in there. Give it a little twist. And I'll show you the light here. Now, let me turn this one over here off. So you can see about what it cast. Okay. Now, we'll take that bulb out. And I'll just leave the switch on. And then I'm going to show you one of these nice little ones. And these are really nice. And they produce a little less heat. But they make about 25% more light. And they're still only about 2.3 watts and they don't really get that hot so we're going to be swapping out to all these bulbs and I'll show you there's Kira and you'll see the bulbs back here now here's the sleeping area up here in the top a couple of spare mattresses from another one of our RVs is in there but that is the original mattress that's on it and it's got some different marks and stuff on it from looks like whatever they've had on it in here and the underneath is clean. All the carpet in this thing is fancy 1970s, including what came with it, which is a nice scale. Um, we're, we're going to put in what never got installed. Brand new, was still in the box. Craco, isn't that cool? Um, 1970s. We're going to install those. We'll be putting them in right up underneath here on both sides. And there's actually the wiring for it, including power. And it looks like the ridge, the uh, knockouts for the stereo was right down in here. So we're going to put it in. So there is one of the stereos we can use. And 
just basic, nothing special. No booming sound system. And like Daniel sitting in the original chair that come with this whole thing. Carpet's got a few marks on it where they used it for storage for a little while. Um, I don't know if you've seen the previous video. Look underneath the video here and I'll put links to the other video. But I want you to take a look here. Fiberglass. This thing is really built incredibly well. And the, uh, uh, the video doesn't do this thing justice at all. The countertops are huge. Let's see, look back right here. The countertops are just huge. It's, this bathroom is massive for an RV. And the, the bathtub is a four and a half foot, almost, literally almost like a standard bathtub. So it is, it's 53 inches, I, what is that, 48, so four foot five. And that's drastic in comparison. And it's all in perfect condition, everything. The little window, all the seals are perfect everywhere. There's no leaks, there's no damage anywhere in this RV. Toilet is just spotless clean. I don't want to lift the lid and freak people out, but kids have been throwing stuff in there, just nothing nasty, just toilet paper from blowing their nose. But there's the electrical system in here, and look, even that bar of ivory has been sitting there for so long. Look what it did to the carpet. And you get to see back here in the electrical system. That is the original everything. Nothing has been messed with in here. Nothing at all. All the doors work perfect. The sink, other than us pouring water down to see if we had any leaks when we first got it, it's not got no water in yet, or never had it. And so far to this date, we still haven't put water in the pipes, and it has never had water in the pipes. So we're a little, we're a little worried about testing it. Now there's the huge heater here. This is a big heater for this trailer. It's a Coleman, and according to them, they never even tried it. Um, he tried he tried to get it fired up. That's they tried it. He tried to get it fired up, and they couldn't get it to fire up. And maybe they didn't understand a lot of air in the lines is going to make it act crazy. So maybe that was the problem. And here, you hear that? Nice and clean up in there. But other than having a few people stay in this thing from time to time, um, they never did run water in it. They did, I guess, try to run propane in it and it's just immaculate so we're going to change all these bulbs out and we're going to see if there's a 570 watt and then what the drop's going to be and see if it makes a big difference because that'll make a difference with your batteries so if you're going to stay off grid that'll make a difference but it's a pretty nice trailer all around guys oh it's and really a tip is. there's tons of storage and if you run out of storage with with these these uh your cabinets you have it in here too look at that isn't that cool <laughs> it's winnebago man look how they were built and this is not even the the i mean this shows you here the thermal panel construction of the roof and this is actually not even in comparison because this is just a uh what do you call that a uh, assembly a sample. a sample of it it's really about that thick and you can sit in here when it is really cold outside and it holds the heat very well but let's get those bulbs changed out and i just wanted to show some of you guys a little walk through and show you how impressive this thing still is after all of these years right anime i don't think she noticed <laughs> all right let's take a look all right, everybody, as you can tell, it's much brighter out here. Um, if y'all wondering why I haven't been doing any videos, this gal here is the cause of it. This one here, she is 14 years old, four, almost 14 and a half. And if you see back here, this is from surgery. And I have pretty much spent myself almost broke. I've had her since she was a baby along with that one, and she's 13 now, the daughter. So that's Anna, the mother, and Emma, the daughter. Um, so if y'all want to donate, man, <laughs> go ahead. Might uh, might get our few bills paid. But the lights are now much, much brighter. The intensity is nicer. It doesn't have that glare to it. And it looks like through my phone, you can see like this little haze there. But the... 
the difference is, is I want, to, want you to look how bright. Now, this is those little bulbs. My phone has that whatever light dimmer control on it so you can get close and look at it up close. It's kind of neat, huh? Um, those are the bulbs that were right here. And these things are just total pigs as far as power. So they will pull a lot of power for, to run these little bulbs here. And of course, you know, standard 1156 bulbs, they pull about one and a half amps per bulb. Um, some of them only about three quarters of an amp, but this right here, this big pile was pulling about 15 to 20 amps off of that power unit back there in the back. Now, can you imagine what that's doing to your battery? So when you look under here, you'll see all the new ones. Very, very bright and very nice. And if I let my phone sit for a second, it won't be so, there we go, so shadowed. But at my phone's, what we call it, Lux adapter or whatever the things are, they make it dim. But now much brighter, much nicer. And even looking like inside of the refrigerator, it is very bright the way the light's in here now. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, up here in the top, same thing with the little bulbs back there that go back there. And then, of course, the one up here. And y'all will see something funny. This is Kira, y'all's favorite wind turbine gal. Look at what she's done. Is that hillbilly or what? It's pretty classy, huh? <laughs> no, she owns new boots. She don't want to wear the new ones. All right, so back here in my messy underneath of my shop, we started out with 500 and I think 70 watts. Okay, so now we're sitting at 325. Now that's about 150 watt difference that... Uh, that's running so we was at 4.8 amps I think it's 4.84 so we have cut two amps of power you see that two amps of power off of the draw that's going on and now remember this refrigerator is running too so the refrigerator is actually pulling about 290 and the rest of that is all that light all that light is about 35 watts to do that so look out there now, I now didn't replace that little bulb. It's just a little tiny T10. But, you should come back here and look. Look at that first picture in the video and look how brighter, how much brighter the light is coming through these compared to the, what it was in the beginning. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be eventually pulling this out. We never could get any kind of funding or help to get the big motorhome built that goes on it. But, let me pause right quick and I'm going to show you what we're putting on the front of this. I think you're going to like it. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Needs a little cleanup work, but this is my 1969 Dodge. Just a standard old pickup truck. <laughs> D300, or, yep, D300. And going to be a sweet little hauler we're going to put this on the front of that Winnebago y'all going to see some videos on this too so it's got a little rough spot right there other side's nice and clean but pretty good lines for an old girl huh 69 model got some new tires for it coming <laughs> not yet All right, so you got to see that. It's going to go on here, and we've got a new adapter that's going to fit on that for it. Everything else is good. Tank solid. Replacement door I got for it the day we picked it up. It didn't have one. And very low. That's a good way to run. That's refrigerator and everything. Look at this little thing sitting out here. <laughs> years and years. But we're going to fix it up. 29-foot chieftain. Stay tuned, guys.